It's another K-Town beat. YouTube, 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 YouTube. Look at what I got going on right here, man. I got to try to fix this thing, man. Anyway, I'm going to be showing y'all how to dress this up. No enhancements. I ain't using no enhancements on this haircut. Look, check the hairline. Look, look, look. Look at what we got. But anyway, we're going to get it together. I'm going to get them together. We, we ain't going to talk about them. You know, we just going to fix it. We're going to do what we do. And I'm going to show y'all how to do that. So right here, I got my two guard, and we just gonna go with the grain first just to see how everything going. So we wanna take our time, go with the grain, make it happen. Okay, now, so once we get done going with the grain, we want to go against the grain just to make sure everything is evened up. Okay, so now once we're done with that, we got everything down to the desired length. We want to come back. We want to start our taper, right? So we're going to kind of do like a a burst type or like really like a temple type so we just want to keep our guideline low and we want to bald it right in the temple area after we do that we want to open up our our guard i mean not our guard we want to open our blade up and we want to go up right above where we made the first guideline we want to go up a little bit not too much and then we want to come back with our one guard here Use our one guard to remove the guideline that we just made with no guard with our blade open. So we use the corner of the blade in order to remove that bulk, right? So we just want to work our way down. We're going to open it up with the one, gradually close it down to its close until we get the desired look that we're looking for. So we just want to make everything blend in, right? Whatever it looks like to you, to, for me, it's not blended all the way, but right here, once I start using the corner of the blade with my with my clipper, my blade is all the way open. I'm using the corner of the blade. Once I get to doing that, now everything is starting to fall into place for me, right? And this is a difficult haircut because you try to figure out how you're going to make them look. Like, what's the best haircut for them? how to make his taper sit, where it needs to sit. This is all based on what you feel is correct and or what the client asked for, right? So that's what we do. So once we're done with this side, we turn them around, we do the exact same thing on this side. After that, now it's time to work the beard. So I want to kind of bring his beard up high, right? I asked him, do you want it low? He said you want to bring it up high, so I want to bring it up high. I want to work with what we have here to still give me a sharp line, but still bring him up. I'm, I brought him up about half an inch right there. You can tell the last time that he, somebody lined him, they dropped it low, right? So I was able to create a sharp line here 
without pushing this line down. You see that what we're doing right here? Like I told you before on previous videos, you put the blade where you want the line to be and pull away. You don't push down. If you push down, then the beard line is going to go down. You're going to create a, tr a chin strap or something like that. So on this side, we do the exact same thing. You see how I brought them up? They're half an inch. And you see I'm not actually pushing down on it. I might be going to the line, but I'm stopping, right? So that's the way you create a sharp line on a beard. Now to the lineup. So on the lineup, you just want to focus, right? You just want to understand what's going on with the hairline and how you can help make the hairline stick out without pushing it back, without even using enhancements. I didn't use nothing on this hairline, right? I didn't even use the Mr. Outliner Detail and Miss on this hairline. This is all me trimmer me him right nothing i didn't use anything when i tell you i didn't use anything i didn't use anything y'all see the lineup you don't need to use a pencil you can create an edge line with certain things right it just so happened you have to have your trimmer set right also but you see that lineup it's already coming out crispy Taper is looking good. The beard is looking good. All of these things are looking good. When you have a system or you take your time to visualize what you want it to be, good things happen. So those are the things that you need to focus on when, you know, doing a haircut period, not just a lineup, doing a haircut period. You have to be able to look at the, the head and understand the goal you're trying to achieve with it right and then you want to give it your style you see how i'm hitting this curve right here this c cup this is how i do my c cups and you know it works for me other people you can do it a different way you could it's different things but if you watch my videos i do everything the same all the time i practice it it's the same all the time every step every motion it's pretty much the same only time I get out of, I, I have so many different ways of approaching a haircut that I can pretty much do it anyway. But uh, a lot of times I, you know, I do it the same unless I'm getting bored or unless the haircut makes it where I have to do something different. You see how high up his hairline was on the left side? That's what I was trying to show how high his hairline is, right? Now some might say, "Hey, this is a, it's a pushback. It's not a pushback. I did what I felt like was necessary. You might agree, you might not agree. It doesn't really matter, right? The client knows his hairline is not perfect. In order for me to do what I do, in order for you to do what you have to do, sometimes, sometimes you have to push it back." in order to achieve the look. It's hair there, yeah. I could have probably sprayed color on top of it, on his skin so it can stain his skin, then throw hair fibers on top of it. I ain't want to do that. Not this time, right? Didn't feel it was necessary, necessarily necessary, right? You got to think about these things, right? Hey, what y'all think about that Will and Jada thing, though? How Will smacked Chris Rock. Man, that wasn't right. But anyway, so this is what I'm saying. You have to use your own discretion when doing a lineup, right? So that's what I did. As you can see, it's coming out pretty straight, pretty crispy, pretty clean. It started out kind of rough when you first start looking at it, but once you you know put everything in the play and you trust the process the hairline is gonna come out right 
you just have to stick to what you're doing. And you see me, I'm just really taking my time now. I'm trying to define this haircut. I'm trying to detail this haircut to what I wanted to be. In the lineup, it came out just how I wanted it. So this is how we achieved the lineup. You see his haircut from the beginning. He was heavily thinning in the middle of his hair, right? Right in the back of his head. Thinning very much. His hairline, it was raggedy in the beginning. You know, hanging over, no definition. I fixed all that. I gave him definition. I made his hair look like it wasn't thinning as much. It looks fuller because we took our time. We knew what we wanted to do. So just remember all those things and you can achieve this cut, right? So this was more about approach, trying to fix thinning areas, how to, how to go about doing it, how to fix a lineup when there's nothing there no enhancements you see this i didn't use any enhancements on this haircut right proud of myself so anyway that's the video don't forget like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend i didn't show y'all the back because he didn't get it tapered but i will show you a quick clip of it but anyway like i said that's the end of the video like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend you know how we do it until next time love peace and hair grease i'm out